Florida, well, St. Paul Baptist Church is teaming up with the Camaro Kings and Queens Car Club to host a back to school health fair this Sunday. And of course, they are here to tell us more about it. Welcome. Thank you. Excited Thank you. to have you all here. Pastor Davis, let's start with you. Okay. What can parents and kids expect at this health fair? Well, it's uh, going to be an all encompassing health fair. We've got some, some terrific sponsors this year AFLAC, Methodist South, Baptist, uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield, UT Dental. So we're going to be doing dental screenings, vision screenings, you name it. We're going to be making sure the kids are healthy and ready to go back. Sounds great to me. And Sean, why did you all decide to partner with St. Paul Baptist yeah. Church on this event? Well, we've uh, done this will be our third back to school drive that we've had and it just seemed like the right thing to do. Get with a good organization to help out and just get some more kids backpacks and school supplies. All right, and Michelle, can you just tell us a little bit about the Camaro Kings and Queens Car Club? Well, we've been a organization for going on about three years now, and we do a lot of community service. We work with the FedEx Family House, and we try to give back to the community as much as we can. This is a good thing what you guys are doing, and we really do appreciate it. Pastor, what are some of the items that you all will be giving away? I see that you brought a lot in today. We did, of course, um, all, you, all the, the necessary things, backpacks. Yes. Pencil, paper, glue, you name it, whatever the kid, crayons, whatever they need to be successful on day one. Also, for failed to mention as well, not only will we be doing the health screening, but we'll also be giving uh, free haircuts. So okay. you can get that haircut as well. Uh, another one of our sponsors, uh, Michael's Magnificent Cuts, they've agreed to come in and give all the little boys free haircuts. So it's going to be a great, great family event. And it's just not about giving back to school supplies away or the health screenings. You guys are going to have your own car show coming up? Yes, ma'am. We're, we're trying to raise some money for a scholarship fun that we're trying to put together so we figured we'd have a car show all so right hopefully and everybody clean their cars up and have them out there yeah yeah how does it make you feel uh to go ahead and uh, host this type of event to help our community michelle it makes us feel great you know we try to do as much as we can to improve our community and the more involvement we have the more success we have so. and pastor what inspired you to host this event well, always, of course, um, we're committed to making a difference, not only in White Haven, mm -hmm. but throughout Memphis and the, uh, the Mid-South. And, of course, we do know school starts just a few days away. The economy hadn't fully recovered. Right. So this becomes a very practical way that we can make a real difference in, uh, in the lives of many families here locally. And, of course, the big deal becomes... Uh, Everything for me comes back to self-esteem. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes kids with self-esteem is impacted. If they go back on the first day, they don't have all of the necessary school supplies, don't have a fresh haircut and so forth. So we figure if we're able to do those type things, we can get the school year off to a great, great start. Make the kids feel good right Absolutely. before their return right. back Absolutely. to school. That's Very right. important. Uh, but there are no special requirements. Can anyone just show up from the kids to receive uh, the health screenings and things of that nature? Absolutely. Just uh, show up and of course we're going to have bounties on the parking lot. Yeah. There'll be face painting. Game it's truck. A game truck. It's just gonna, it's gonna be a family event. We're gonna get started at 1230 and we'll be there until the supplies run out and the kids get tired. And this is <laughs> at your church, right? St. Right. Paul Baptist Church. Thank you guys so much for coming on. We really appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. Thank you for having, having us. And of course for more information head to our website at localmemphis.com and click on the green find it button. We'll still ahead the operatic voice of local singer Paula Newberry. But first We'll be checking back in at the Humane Society. This time we'll meet Ma Petite. She's looking for a forever home. Could it be yours? Stay with us. We'll be right back.